case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1999 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit, it was determined that businesses could not intentionally discriminate against employees based on their race and employment contracts, according to a federal law called 42 U.S.C. 1981. The case involved the Parker Group, Inc., TPG, which was held liable for racial discrimination against Shirley Farrell, an African-American woman employed by TPG as a temporary worker. Farrell was hired to make race-matched get-out-the-vote phone calls during a political campaign and was terminated after the election. Farrell filed a lawsuit against TPG, claiming she was discriminated against based on her race in violation of Title 42 of the United States Code, Section 1981. TPG contested the verdict and the monetary damages the jury awarded Farrell. However, TPG's admission of assigning and segregating employees based on race provided crucial evidence against them. Farrell testified to the emotional pain and disrespect she experienced due to TPG's actions, leading to a $500 compensatory damages award. Nonetheless, the court upheld TPG's appeal in part, affirming the liability for intentional discrimination and the compensatory damages award, but reversing the imposition of punitive damages due to insufficient evidence of ill will or reckless indifference to federally protected rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.